at about 11.21 p.m. He was staying at 1116 Driggers Road, and he was staying with Talon Page. They referred to each other as brothers. They were that close of friends. Now, we've not released a lot of information on this investigation thus far because we have were intensely looking for him and between the 7th and the 12th when we initially arrested Talon Page this was a missing persons investigation that elevated to what we believe to be a death investigation in fact a murder investigation we weren't saying that as you well know at the time but we were looking for him and praying for the best. Last Friday afternoon, we got evidence back from the lab that confirmed that the blood that we seized from the house at 1116 Driggers Road, where Talon lived, was in fact Ethan Allen's blood. We still have not found Ethan Fussell. We know that he was last seen and was staying with Talon Page, his best friend, or as they call, brothers. We have every reason to believe at this point that Ethan Fussell is a victim of murder. We don't know where he is at this time and place. We found evidence at Driggers Road when we served a search warrant where they were trying to clean up the crime scene. There was a significant amount of blood there. We know that there were drugs sold and used at Talon's house on Driggers Road. We know that there was an argument, according to witnesses, between Talon and Ethan and we believe it was over either money or drugs. Now, we arrested Talon Page for disposal of a lighted substance because we wanted to get him in jail. We wanted to get a fresh set of fingerprints. We wanted to, to arrest him for something. So the disposal of lighted substance was when he threw a cigarette on the ground. Now that's a pretty small criminal charge, although it is. That's what he looked like on May the 12th. This is what Talon Page looked like on June the 2nd when we arrested him. You see the difference in his looks? Well, why does he look different? It was Talon's own statement to us. I cut my hair because I was on the run. I knew you were looking for me. But who was he with? Well, he was with Adani. We know that Adani sells drugs for, for Talon. We know Adani is a dope user. We know that they sell dope out of the house on that occasion. We know that Adani is a gang member, at least according to him. We know that according to the criminal history, that Talon has 11 previous felony arrests and 16 misdemeanor previous felony arrests. Adani was just released from prison on May the 1st, 2023, and he's now only 21 years of age, and he's got 41 previous felony charges and 26 misdemeanor charges. So how did we get on to him? We got on to the two of them because they were hiding and running, and we have been running after them. We have been just a step behind. But they went to Mulberry to an address to stay. Adani knew a guy from Mulberry that he had been in the county jail with, and he said, hey, man, we need a place to crash for a couple of days. They're after us. And the guy said, come on and stay with me. Adani was actually seen on the front porch wearing a full stocking mask. So, you know, you're a little suspicious when at your hangout, you're coming outside wearing a full stocking mask. No one said these folks were Rhodes Scholars, okay? They're criminals. 
and we we have reason to believe that Adani took part in the murder, but Talon Page was the primary source to murder his best friend. So we received a call. Our deputies responded immediately, along with canine support, aviation support. We surrounded the house and took them into custody. They've not talked to us at this time. We've charged him with tampering with evidence, an accessory after the crime of murder. But I do want to say something else about Ethan. Ethan's not a bad kid. In fact, he's just the opposite. He's a good boy. He was only 21 years of age. He was growing up. He didn't want to go along with mom and dad's rules at home because he's growing up, so he moved out. Unfortunately, he befriended the likes of these folks. Okay? Now, that's what ultimately cost him his life, was who he was friends with. But I can tell you, he has zero arrest history. He's never been in any trouble with us at all. He simply was hanging out with the wrong crowd. Now, when your mom and dad tells you, if you hang out with dogs, you get fleas, they know what they're talking about. Because the reality is, this was a solid kid. And he is now deceased. And his body, we don't know where it is. We want to return Ethan to his wonderful family. He comes from a wonderful, beautiful family who have been totally cooperative and worked with us. We have over 1,000 hours of investigative time in this case so far, trying to find Ethan and holding these folks accountable. There's going to be more criminal charges. There's going to be more people that are arrested. But ladies, I know that you thought it was a cool place to go hang out at Talon's. But, you know, here's, here, here's what Talon really thought of you. This was a sign he had in the house. So I would encourage you to understand that you're wonderful young ladies. You're not what he referred to you on this sign. And if you're protecting him or hiding him and he's wanted for murder, nothing good is going to come from you keeping your mouth shut. So if you were one of the young ladies that's just hanging out there because it was a cool thing to do, we'd like to have you as a witness. We'd like to have you cooperate. We would like to have you tell us where Ethan is so we can return him to his family. And this is what Talon and Adani and his buddies really thought of you, okay? So quit defending someone who thinks that you're not a first-class citizen that you're something less than that and help us get these guys appropriately charged and return Ethan to his family. Are there any questions? Sure. Yes, they sure did. It was actually someone in a neighbor's house who saw them coming and going and go, ah, I've seen them on social media, I've seen them on, t on the news. And it, so it was someone in the neighborhood that called and said, hey, these guys are at this house. The previous charges? Yeah, th those are previous charges. And no, I, I don't have the details of the previous charges, but Adani just got out of prison. I think he was sentenced to three or three and a half years but this guy's only 21 years of age. These are just bad actors. They're nasty, mean, violent people. Look, when you have dope and you have guns, you have death. And unfortunately for Ethan, that's what happened. We want to find Ethan and return him to his family. Ethan's mistake was he trusted someone who he thought was his friend and ultimately the guy got mad at him and murdered him 
that they're still under investigation at this point in time. There's lots of other people who may be watching social media or watching the news report. They too will end up in jail if they don't smell the roses and start cooperating. The investigation is ongoing. It's not over. There's a lot of work to do. But the best thing we could do is find Ethan. And after all, I have this thing that I like to share occasionally. You can be a suspect or you can be a witness. You can be a suspect or you can be a witness. You can sit in prison for decades or you can be a witness. The choice is yours. Anything else? Thank you very much. Have a good day.